you see these right here? These pieces, these are all pawns. That is what you are to a narcissist. Whether it's the new supply, the old supply, you're all pawns. You have about as much sentimental value to the narcissist as this actual piece. <laughs> I mean, they they cannot feel any attachment to this piece, just like they can't feel any attachment to you. So I find it interesting that I've heard people do videos on grade A supply and things of that nature. Well, I'm talking about, well, I'm grade A supply and this and that. And, well, what? how is that something to brag about? You're, being grade A supply means you would have gotten the most abuse. Would Would mean you were giving them the most attention and therefore you were putting up with the most abuse. And so one of these pawn pieces would not be a better position than another. You're all being abused. Every one of these pieces is being abused and the narcissist feels absolutely nothing towards you. You're all abuse victims. So grade A supply is not something to aspire to. <laughs> I mean, it's not something to say, well, I was grade A supply and they're never going to get any uh, any better supply than me. Are you out of your mind? Uh, that means you were abused and that means you were abused in the worst way possible. And the new person is also going to be abused, but they're probably using them more so to get back at you. So you would get the brunt of the abuse, meaning they're using that person even more. They're more of a pawn than you at that juncture. They just kind of switched it up. But then there was a person before you, which they were probably using you to get back at them. So it's just all, it's a repetitive thing. So it's irrelevant to say whether I was grade A supply or whether I'm the new supply. You're, they're all abuse victims, and that's how they need to be looked at. So uh, the new supply is going to be in for it, and that's going to be a new train wreck that's about to happen, and it's almost like you have to get your popcorn to watch what's going to happen from afar. It's kind of like when there's a car wreck and it's like you just have to watch to see what happens. It's not that you want someone to be hurt or would enjoy it. You just, but you've got to see. It's like must-see TV. Well, this is almost the dynamic with the narcissist and their new supply. It's almost like you have to watch because you, you have to see how it's going to play out. And for me, I like to study these people from afar. So it's like, you know, I discarded the narcissist first and he did not have any he, I threw him for a loop, kind of. He wasn't expecting that. He did not expect me to be able to figure out what was going on and get out of there. That that was not expected at all. That 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 was completely not in the script, and so he didn't have anyone prepared. He didn't have another person prepared because he never imagined I would leave. He never thought, he was still working, he thought he was going to work on me, and then I was going to be like the main source of supply, but I just took off and left, because I saw all the red flags. That was not in the script at all. So that threw him for a loop and completely confused him, and he he wasn't ready. So now, seven months later, he found new supply... And it took him so long because he didn't have anyone on the back burner. He didn't have a backup at the time period. If he did, he would have uh, 
started posting pictures of that person right away, but he was taking pictures of, like, random strangers at events. Like, I'm talking about, like, a lady in her 70s. Like, he had no one. It was blatantly obvious he had no one, because who's going to take a picture of someone? If you're you're in your 30s, you're going to take a picture with a lady in her 70s, and you think someone's going to get upset about that? <laughs> like, I mean, I already had left, and I never... I didn't establish any feelings for him because I picked up on the red flags. So the sting was not as as much as it would be as if we were in like a full relationship, which that never happened. So he didn't get to play out the the whole narrative in the way that he wanted to, but he's still trying to like he's doing what he would have done if I were there, he, he was going to really stab me and he, that's what would have happened. But now he's, he's posting up pictures with the new supply and it's funny because it's like, I, he had planned this all along and I knew he planned it. Like I knew this is what was going to happen because in the middle of all this, I took off and I watched like a hundred narc vid. Like I watched, like I just did massive research and so now I already knew the the following steps that were going to happen even though I was not in the picture you know what I'm saying like I was able to do the research and figure out oh my god that is what he was going to do to me you know what I'm saying but like watching it from afar like and it and it couldn't happen because I wasn't there but that's what he was planning to do so you know I watch like Vaknin and other videos and I'm like oh my god he was gonna discard me and then just start you know get a new person like the next day like I couldn't believe it's mind-boggling that someone could do that that's pure evil that is pure evil so now i i just it's almost like a fascination that i like i like studying these people i don't want anything to do with them they they're they're just diabolical but it's it's almost like astonishing that a thing like this exists but they're everywhere i mean it's just sheer evil so I, I'm just super happy that I got out of there in the nick of time and I I picked up on all of the red flags and I did the research and I, I got myself to safety so I'm just super super happy um, because without a shadow of a doubt this person and the friend that put him around me on purpose to try to set me up that that could have ended really badly i mean they were trying to really just destroy me but i got out of there so i'm just thrilled but my point of this video is grade a supply new supply none of it matters all of them are being abused and uh the the only way to not be abused is to not be around the narcissist and being around the narcissist equates to abuse whether it's going to be verbal physical mental i mean spiritual it's every form of abuse imaginable that's what's going to be inflicted on you if you stay around these people so get the get the hell away from them and get yourself to safety